how to use later for social media management for beginners hey guys welcome back in this video i will be showing you how you can use later for social media management and much more so let's get into it first you're gonna go to later.com and you will land on this website right here later is a social media management platform that allows you to create your own link and you can actually connect all of your social media in one place it will allow you to plan and analyze and publish content in advance so let me show you how to get started and how to use it once you get on the website you can create an account for free you can get started by entering your email address or you can use your google account i will simply log in to my later you can see it's free forever and there's no credit card required after the initial sign up or sign in to your later, this is where you will land. Now, this is our main dashboard. You can see at the side of the screen, we have a calendar, which will show me a calendar here to schedule my post and more. Now, we have a media, which is an important option. This is where we kind of like upload all of the media that we need to post. Of course, the pictures and the videos. Then we have our conversations that will actually take me to my uh, inbox and I will be able to even communicate through later. Then we have our analytics to show us all of the different stats link in bio so this is the link that i can create and add in my bio and then we also have the creator and brand collapse so this is available in the beta version and if you are an influencer if you have a big account uh, on any of these social media then you can actually use this option and at the bottom we have our settings so the first step that you need to do is once you sign up for later is connecting a platform so at the top you can see we have different platforms we have instagram we can connect pinterest facebook twitter tiktok linkedin and more let's connect our facebook or this way you can connect any of the social media click on this plus button here and it will open up that application for me i will be connecting my facebook all right so it will ask me to give access to my facebook account and i will simply log in click on continue and now we can select our account or page. I have more than one pages on uh, Facebook. So that is why it's asking me to select one. I'm going to select this one. Once you do that, you can see now it has been added to my later account. And now we have our own, uh, you know, connection created here. So at the top, now I can actually add all of my social media, my Instagram, TikTok, and my Facebook. I can even add my Twitter. So uh, now we have connected all of these. We will be able to schedule posts to all of these different social media platforms now we will go to the media section here so in media you can see we have upload media and we even have collect from instagram tags mentions search my profile search my hashtag now what uh, the platform that you have connected you can even get the data from there the media that you have already uploaded to your instagram account to your facebook account can be used again uh, within your media library i will be uploading new media so we're going to go to the manage media here and click on upload so you can see i have already uploaded few of the images but i will select more from my computer so I have uploaded these images just now for my computer. It will just take like a second to upload. All right. So this is my new media that I wanted to add and I'll create a post with this. Uh, you can select the media from here now and I'll be selecting this. Let me actually deselect few. Okay. So I have this one, this and these three. Okay, perfect. So I have selected six images from here now you can see at this side we have different uh you know filters and items that we can um add at the top we also have deselect option labels stores and move so once you have selected this we can actually go back to our calendar here let's switch to the calendar now okay so you need to select the date and time from here uh, first you can select week or month i'm gonna switch to the monthly view and this is what it will look like let's create a post for tomorrow so you will select the you know time from here first you need to select the media so again i'll be selecting the images like so while selecting an image you can actually edit an image too for instance if i wanted to edit this one i can just click on it and you can see this is what the image looks like and i can edit it out i can uh, you know take notes and more so i have selected these images and now we will select the date you can see multi photo post so these are one more than one image so we will select this one and now what we need to do is we need to create a post let's go with one for now so i'll select this one click on create post so i'll create a post for facebook 
first uh, the type it's going to be a page post and now i need to write a caption so i'm just gonna go with the word travel we can edit the image change media we can add emojis we can add different tags and more there are even hashtag suggestions that are available so you can select this option and get the right hashtags now you will click on schedule post and you can schedule this post for later and you can even schedule it now so i have scheduled this one for later you can see we can even select the time and date from here now this post has been scheduled for this date and this time so what we will do is we will simply you know go with the auto publish or we can even go with the manual you can click on more options here and you'll be able to um, simply schedule your post so now the post has been scheduled and you can see this is what it looks like so now I don't need to keep track of it. It will be posted automatically and it will help me save time. We can select multiple, uh, you know, social media from here. I'm actually posting on one, but you can just select the, uh, you know, um, social media platform from uh, at the top here and you can post it to the multiple platforms. This is actually really easy to do. After that, we have our conversations. So within our conversation, this is actually available within our, uh, you know, page plan. So let's actually check out the pricing plan for later so that you have a better idea. There is a, a growth plan available for our later so you can see we have a $40 per month and three social sets $15 per month per social media set and then we have two users $5 per month and we have all of these different features uh, you will be able to access all of the features then available for later so go ahead and check out the pricing plan as well then we have our analytics now analytics are actually uh, the stats that later will be fetching from our account that we have connected so I'm going to switch to my Facebook and now you can see it's showing me my page summary page growth and discovery page likes impressions reach page views page interactions and more so you can see all of this data is collected well later i don't need to use a third party tool and it will also show me my audience uh, then i have link in bio option so link in bio means that i can actually create my own one link for all of my social media this is actually quite similar to what we see in linktree and this is a new option available so now i don't need to use a third party too later will give me a link so this is the link that has been generated and i can create my own landing page kind of like a landing page with later so this is actually a pretty good option you can create your own link uh, for your website for all of your social media and add it in your bio and all of your social media tiktok instagram and more so this is how Later helps you with all of your social media management and collaboration. It's a hub for social media and it will help you save a lot of time and get more productive. I hope that I was a big help. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up or leave a comment down below. Turn on bell notification and subscribe to YouTube channel.